Wing of the Flies tied with Magpie. Uh, so Magpie and Silver. Um, excellent fly in the evenings and at night, Nerva Clyde. I mean, everybody's got their own idea of what it should look like. Basically, the, this is it, in the way it's a silver body. So Magpie, Wing, which is coming, that's actually tied. This is the tail feather. And you get a right and a left. As you see, I've got two slips ready to cut off. One from each side, which gives you the right and the left of the wing. The body is a traditional tinsel, meaning t actual tin. As you see, it's tarnished here. Uh, I've been sitting. But all you do is use the underside. When you wind it up, you make sure that the, the good side is shiny. Uh, that's the tarnished side. You turn around, you get the shiny side. Now, the hackle is a natural hen hackle. A natural black. Thread, traditionally we use piezo silks, black, but I'm just going to use just a, a uni 80. Now the hook is a larger size, I mean you can use these up to an 8 if you want, but no, I'm using a size 10, medium wire hook, it's a Camasan B170. Down to the vise, let's get a wee bit, is it proper, and that's it, nice and tight. Now, I'm going to start thread at the eye of the hook and touch and turns. Wind it right round, right round to the threads in line with the barb of the hook, which is there. Now you can break away or cut away the thread, it's entirely up to you. Now, the tinsel itself. Now, the tinsel it can actually cut your thread very easily. I mean, it's sharp. I mean, it's, if you pull the thread into it, it'll, it will cut it. Now, the way to tie traditional, tie in this, the tinsel, is to actually cut it into a point. Just like, like this. Okay. Now, all I do is catch it on the side, the point on the side, as tight as you can, touch and turns, tie in that point. And it's on the side of the hook, and it's got that taper. And then what you want to do is then touch and turns, run the thread all the way up to maybe 3-4mm from the eye. You tie the wing at this point here, and the hackle's going to go in front. Okay. Now, starting off your tinsel, bring it round. Cut end is to the back. Come round, follow it, touch and turns. Just take your time at this point here. Just check to see how it's sitting. If you need to get it right on the spot, you can move it around. You can push it with your nail slightly. Now it's important that you do get these touching, touching turns. Don't overlap the turns of the tinsel. Nice and easy. Wind up. If you do this, it shouldn't pull off. And that been tinsel, it's very strong, stronger than you think. You don't need a rib on it. Get to this point here. Cross your thread. Now, just make sure you keep the thread nice and tight. Turns of thread, wind down. Tying your tinsel on. You can cut away or break it because it is tinsel. If you bend it enough, it will break off. Tidy up. Bring your thread back up. Just square everything up. And as you see, the body is really, it's, it's amazing the difference that makes if you have touch and turns and it's a natural, it's a, an old tinsel. Tinsel makes a great body, adds a tiny bit more extra weight to the fly as well, but you just can't get that quality of finish unless you use the real stuff. You've got your sort of modern material, or your modern mylar, very soft, fair enough it's shiny and stuff, but you see that in the water, it's totally different. Now you need two slips now from the, the magpie tail, one from each side to form a wing. Now you, can, you could 
traditionally you can actually just take off a full side to represent both sides of the wing and then line the tips up and roll the wing on traditionally as well you could actually what they used to do was just sort of lacquer the end of the, the wing to hold them together uh, it's up to you where you do that lengthwise I mean simply that what I do is get the two two slips right and the left line up the points there you go you get your right and your left there sit on top I like it slightly longer but like, well by the, the bend of the hook more sedge like than anything just bring them together have a quick look see the length and then pinch and loop keep your fingers nice and tight allow the thread to slip through your fingers keeping the wing in your fingers tight bring and bring the thread straight down and up do another pinch and loop a couple of times nice and tight and then you see how your wing is sitting it's, got a wee, it's not too bad not my best in the world but that's that's for catching fish now it's fine trim away the waste and touching turns tidy up take the thread down to the eye and bring it back up to this point here where you've got the wing in Get your hen hackle, now you're going to tie the hen hackle in by the tip. Fold back the fibres out of the road. I come in and hold the fibres like this. Now, what I'm doing here is taking three or four turns down, bringing back the point or the tip of the hackle, two or three turns back up, bring your thread back down. Really, what you've done, what I've done there is tucked the hackle point in. It should never pull out. It's got to break off, and then slightly fold the fibers back. And then you're looking at tying in one, two, heading down, one turn in front of the other at least what four to five turns depends and remember this is a, a night fly you can exaggerate slightly just across the thread forget everything just now take your thread down towards the eye bring your finger and thumb in stroke everything back anything going forward the eye and bring your thread back up now I prefer to keep a hold of the thread keep it tight and go straight in and what finish just now it's amazing the slack turns that can throw back if you let the thread go. You have a stronger fly if you do that. Come in here with the scissors, catch the edge of it, trim away. And that's really all we have to do now is varnish the head all the way around. You get a nice neat finish if you tie a hackle in front. Sits so much better. Much easier to get a, a neat head, a nice small head like that. And anyway, that's your magpie and silver. A lovely traditional rubber wet fly.